Description. The goal of this experiment is to determine the velocity of a bowling ball based on measurements of displacement and time. We will use both an algebraic and a graphical approach to solve this problem. The materials used in this experiment are one bowling ball, one ramp or student roller, five stopwatches, one meter stick, and masking tape is optional. Procedure 1. Place the ball and ramp in the hallway outside the laboratory and aim it down the center of the hallway. 2. Position five people with stopwatches along the hallway so that they are three meters apart. The first person should be located at three meters beyond the base of the launcher. Use pieces of tape to mark the locations of the timers and the base of the ramp. 3. Designate a sixth person to be in charge of releasing the ball. Step 4. Locate a seventh person beyond the last timer to stop the ball. 5. Designate an eighth person to collect the data from all timers. 6. Three trials should be made from a single height on the ramp. The height should be noted and tape used to mark the launcher in order to get a reproducible launches. You may wish to have a few practice runs before collecting data. 7. When the ball reaches the floor, all the timers should be started. As the ball passes each person with a stopwatch, they should stop their watch. The data should then be recorded in the below chart. 8. Repeat for three trials. Safety warning. Be aware of other people in the halls. Allow them to pass. Please enjoy this demonstration of the experiment. Your teacher has passed out a table that looks like the table shown. The time the ball reaches each point must be recorded for each of the three trials. An example of possible data is shown. Your teacher has also passed out a table regarding average time for each distance. This can be recorded by taking the sum of all three times at the specific distance and dividing by three. Velocity must also be recorded. This can be found by taking the distance and dividing by average time. The velocity is approximately 0.5 meters per second at each point. A graph has also been provided regarding the distance versus time of the bowling ball. Data points have been recorded as shown. A best fit line has been added to approximate the slope of the line which connects the data points. The slope can be calculated by dividing the change in distance over the change in time. The slope is also the value of velocity. The slope was calculated to be about 0.5 meters per second. Data analysis question one. Look at the values of v you determined in your algebraic approach. If the velocity is constant, then your values of v should be approximately the same at all distances. Do your results for v indicate constant or changing velocity? Due to the results varying by less than 0.1 meters per second for each distance, we can infer that the ball was traveling approximately at a constant velocity. Data analysis question two. In your graphical approach, you were asked to find the slope of the distance versus time graph. How does the slope compare to your results from v from your algebraic approach? The average velocity from the algebraic approach is approximately 0.5 meters per second, which is the approximate slope of the best fit line. Therefore, both the algebraic and graphical methods are conclusive of an approximate constant velocity of 0.5 meters per second. Analysis question three. What would a steeper slope of the position versus time graph indicate? The steeper the slope will indicate a faster constant velocity. This is due to the slope of the best fit line calculating the value of velocity. Analysis question 4. Did the values of v you calculated in the algebraic approach vary a lot? A. Yes or no. B. If yes, why do you think the values of v had variations? The approximate values of v from both the algebraic and graphical analysis are approximately constant, however do vary. 
This variation is due to the slight friction force of the surface on the ball. A slight variation could also have occurred by human error when timing the movement of the bowling ball. The application question should be answered as a class. Thank you for your participation in this online lab.